Hello everybody, how are you guys doing? This is Rob of Rule of Two Review. Welcome back to the channel. And today, with all of the conversation going on with what Nintendo may or may not be doing with their hardware, with the Nintendo Switch, with a possible Switch 2, and all of the people reacting because of the delay of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2, I wanted to go down a different road when it comes to that idea and talk about what Nintendo might actually be thinking long term when it comes to their overall console hardware. Now you guys know that I've long believed Nintendo has been planning their next big thing for a couple of years now and I do still think that by the end of next year we might actually see what that is or even be playing what that is. Which is an exciting idea. That may not happen, but currently that's just what I feel and believe, and I will until I'm otherwise proven wrong. But as I mentioned, the recent delay of Breath of the Wild 2 until spring of next year, 2023, has brought a lot more people on board to the idea that Nintendo may actually be planning their Switch 2 or their next-gen console, whatever they plan to do, next year to potentially coincide with the release of that system. But I think that beyond just what that next console will be, I am starting to get more interested in what Nintendo's actual purpose is going forward for their hardware. I think that what's happened, at least for myself, is as I've been thinking about what Nintendo might actually be releasing next year, if in fact that actually happens, I've started to realize that when we analyze Nintendo releasing new hardware at any given time, we can't forget about how Nintendo always innovates and evolves or updates or changes what they actually do or create for their hardware. And that's been both in the home console space and in the portable space. And it's worth noting that we're all focused on this concept of a Switch 2, you know, a quote unquote Nintendo Switch 2, a sequel to the Switch that will continue to be a hybrid model, portable home console kind of thing. And I think that more than likely that probably will be what their next console is. But when it comes to Nintendo, we can't forget that that idea is not a foregone conclusion. Nintendo changes their ideas often. And so whether their next console is a Switch 2 or not, we still can also ask ourselves what Nintendo will be doing for the future. And if the hybrid model is what Nintendo will always be doing for the rest of time. Before we dive any deeper into the Nintendo next gen topic, I like to remind you guys I'm always trying to grow the channel here on Rule of Two Review. I upload every single week and I am less than 2,000 subscribers away from 20,000, which I do hope to hit this year in 2022. I talk about all things Nintendo and all things gaming, so as you watch this video, if you seem to like what I'm doing and what you hear, then I hope you will consider subscribing to the channel. And so I'm I'm asking a pretty big question here in this video today, which I think is an exciting thing for us to think about, right? And that question is, kind of like I alluded to here in the intro, is if Nintendo is just now permanently a hybrid console developing company, have they seen such success with the Nintendo Switch and is it so unique and cool and refreshing that Nintendo maybe has decided to just always produce hybrid hardware going forward? Are they abandoning dedicated portables and are they abandoning dedicated home console boxes that just plug into your TV for all time? Did the Nintendo Switch and its success change Nintendo's approach and business model forever? And the answer is maybe. I think the best place to start when it comes to exploring this idea is, as I mentioned, their very next console, their very next piece of hardware that we all tentatively call a Switch 2 or a Switch Pro or a Super Switch or a Switch Plus, you know, whatever these names are that we keep attaching this to. The thing that many of us think may come out or be revealed next year, the thing that many of us think may actually coincide with the re release of Breath of the Wild 2, the thing that I think Metroid Prime 4 will actually release on as opposed to exclusively the current Switch, what will that thing be? Will it actually be some sort of newer, better, more powerful version of a hybrid Switch? And while nothing is a lock, and like I said, nothing is a foregone conclusion, my personal prediction and feeling is that yeah, it probably will be a Switch. I think that the Switch hybrid console idea is at least a lock for two generations. The current generation that we're currently in and whatever Nintendo's next machine is that we think may come out next year. I personally think that right now Nintendo has seen such great success with the Switch and this hybrid concept. And I think that they've done such a wonderful and successful job 
of kind of building their whole persona and their marketing and their identity around this Switch concept that I think it has enough legs in it to go for at least the next console round. And even their next machine that I think is meant to more combat and compete with the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X, I think they can still achieve that while being a hybrid console developer. And so there are obviously some things that they need to improve on the current Switch that we're all playing. There are some things that they need to change or evolve and innovate on. And I mean, that could be all sorts of things to controllers, to motion, to the quality of the screen, to I don't even know things that we couldn't even think about. I mean, that's the exciting thing about Nintendo is they do think about things that we could never think about. But I think that by and large, their general model will probably still be some sort of better evolved version of the hybrid Switch concept. I think it's all but a lock to be their next console. It's not actually a lock. Like I said, they could surprise us. Just my personal feeling and prediction is that I see it as almost a lock that that's what they will do. But I think the question is for the long term, whenever Nintendo moves beyond that next generation, if we just assume for the sake of this conversation that their next console will be another Switch hybrid kind of thing, what do they do after that? Could Nintendo ever go back to making just a dedicated TV uh, system? That's the big question, and I'll be really curious to hear from you guys, by the way, in the comments of this video. If you think Nintendo could ever go back to making just a TV home console, or have they changed their model to such a degree that they could never do that? Would you see it as a step backwards for them to go to a TV-only model or not? My prediction is that a lot of you will probably say yes. I think most people feel that Nintendo can only make hybrid Switch consoles going forward and that it would be seen as a step backwards for them to make a TV model. I actually don't think that. I would actually like to see them go back to just a regular home console like they used to make, but I would also not be sad if they stuck with the Switch hybrid concept provided they kept improving it and they found a way to make it comparable in power to the competing systems on the market at any given respective time. That's kind of my wish and my desire. But I really think seeing how people, especially the younger people who are new to gaming, react to Nintendo and the Switch and the whole gaming landscape, I feel like most of you guys out there are probably going to say Nintendo should always make Switches, they should always be hybrid, and if they make a dedicated TV console in the future, it's going to be a step backwards. I wouldn't agree with that, but I predict most of you guys will probably feel that way. You can tell me in the comments, though, if I'm reading the room incorrectly. I do think it'll be kind of funny and maybe a little bit shocking if Nintendo does come out and actually shows us their next piece of hardware, and it is just a TV box, you know? I mean, what if that's what if that's what they do? We all think Breath of the Wild 2 and Metroid Prime 4 are meant to play on this newer, more powerful version of a Switch that's a portable device that has all of the tech inside of it, that has a screen on it that you can play in your hand and take all the way around the planet, or you can plug into a thing that then just displays it on the TV. But that's just going to be more powerful. We all expect them to do that. Like I said, I expect them to do that. I think the Switch hybrid idea has enough legs for a next-gen version, for another entire console cycle from Nintendo. But man, what if they come out and they shock the world and say, nope, we thought of something completely different. And that, you know, that completely different thing is another thing we have to remind ourselves of. Yeah, they might come out with a TV box, but they might also do something else that's, that's neither of those things. And I can't even begin to guess what that would be. But, you know, I have to speak to some of the, the older gamers out there and the older folks out there. The people that are, that are my age and my generation, I'm talking about people in their in their lower 30s and in their 40s or whatever, you know, I'm 41 years old. So people in my generation who've seen Nintendo go through many generations, there's a lot of people who are big on Nintendo and gaming now who are really young, you know, 25 or younger and really don't understand what it's like for, ga for the gaming industry to go through multiple generations of itself. And younger Nintendo fans who haven't seen Nintendo themselves go through all of the different crazy ideas that they've tried throughout the decades. And so to those of you who are more in my age demographic, between the 30s and 40s and mid 40s, you've seen what I've seen. You've lived through Nintendo trying 
Game Boys and Virtual Boys and Wii U's and Wii Motion Controls and all of these other crazy ideas. These weird Nintendo Power Pads back in the NES days and the Super Scope for the Super Nintendo. We've lived through that version of Nintendo. A lot of younger Nintendo fans only know the Switch era of Nintendo. But we remember Nintendo always trying something new and trying to surprise us. And there is that small sliver of a chance that they're going to surprise us with something we could never predict with their next piece of hardware. And so for me, I just remind myself of being, you know, the younger kid, the teenager, the 20-something version of myself that has seen and lived through all of these versions of Nintendo and their weird, quirky, innovative ideas, most of which succeeded valiantly, some of which failed spectacularly, but I remind myself what it's like to see that happen and then I just kind of get excited for the ride. And as much as I want to make my theories and predictions about, oh, the next console is going to be a Switch 2, and then after that they might do they might do something different. And it's like, maybe I just need to sit back and wait to see what they do at any given moment. You know, that's part of the excitement and fun of being a Nintendo fan over the generations, is not really knowing what to expect and being surprised when the Nintendo Revolution is revealed with this weird controller nunchuck thing and you're like, what the hell is that? That doesn't make any sense. And then it comes out and it's pretty awesome. And then they come out with the Wii U and it's like, whoa, they came out with this screen gamepad game console thing. And while no one else really bought or liked it, I actually loved it. None of us saw it coming at the time though. And that's the exciting thing. And so maybe Nintendo is going to surprise us again with their next generation next year. Maybe they do what we predict and it's just a Switch 2. But then we wonder what they're going to do after, man. And can Nintendo go back to something different or something that isn't a hybrid model? I want to think they can, but there is a chance that Nintendo has maybe decided to commit themselves to making hybrid hardware forever. I think it's worth noting here, kind of the last point to sort of summarize and wrap this short video up here, I think it's worth noting that one thing that maybe throws a bit of a, a wrench into things when we think about Nintendo making hybrid hardware forever is the fact that already people have started to kind of copy what they're doing, you know? And I don't use copy in a negative word. I mean, innovation breeds copying. Innovation breeds sea changes for whatever industry you're in. Nintendo has introduced plenty of things that were so innovative at the time that they eventually became industry standards. And even other companies have, have introduced things as well that have become standards. You know, that happens. And so Nintendo came out, they started with the Wii U, didn't go so hot. They evolved the Wii U into the Switch, huge success. And now we have all of these other devices. The Steam Deck is the most prominent, but there's like an Alienware version. There's this thing called an Aya Neo that I don't know much about and other PC companies coming out with similar products and ideas that are very much what the hybrid Switch model is. And so the one thing that could convince Nintendo to continue to change and innovate and not stick with the hybrid model forever is the fact that it's no longer new and novel. They no longer have the sole unique position and stranglehold on the hybrid model because other companies are doing it and the Steam Deck comes along and for all, for all that I've heard, they're doing it really well. So Nintendo is no longer the unique player in the hybrid space. And so maybe they commit to it for one more generation, but after that, maybe the competition has shown that they want to continue to innovate and they're going to come out with this weird, I don't know, hologram 3D motion control eyeglass wearing thing for their next console in 10 years. Who knows? Anything is possible. Nintendo innovates, which makes them exciting. They mostly succeed. Sometimes they don't, but it definitely makes it exciting to see what they're going to do next. Anyway, just a random topic and idea that's been bouncing around in my head, and it really picked up steam in my brain after the delay of Zelda and seeing so many other people start to talk about a Switch 2, which, as I've said several times, and you're probably sick of hearing me say it, but I'm going to keep saying it, um, something that I've actually believed for about two years now, going back to 2020. And so with more people talking about it and it's bringing the ideas back up in my head, I was like, man... Is Nintendo making Switches forever? Are they hybrid forever now? Or could they change things up? And it's like, this is a company that innovates, man. So anything is possible and it will be exciting to see what they do decide to do when they do it. So these are my thoughts. What do you guys think about my thoughts? What are your predictions? Do you think Nintendo is hybrid forever or not? Talk about it below. And with that, this video is a wrap. Thanks, of course, as always, for tuning in, guys. This is Rob of World of Review, and I'll catch you next time on another video. Bye-bye.